What's going on everybody? It is Alex from Everything for iPod. Today I'm bringing you part 3 of the Hackintosh build video. This is the final build video for the Hackintosh. However, it's not the last build video in the series. I'm still going to have some other videos such as upgrades, installation videos, um, tutorials, overclocking videos. I'm not really going to officially end the series just because there's always some modifications I can do to it, upgrades. So there's always going to be content regarding my Hackintosh that's going to be going on later. Um, so yeah, this is part three, final uh, part of the actual build, like the complete uh, build video, everything together. I will have some upgrade videos coming pretty shortly, so stay tuned and make sure you hit the subscribe button for that. Anyway, enjoy the video. Alright, so now we want to start wiring the SATA connectors. So we're going to just start hooking them up. Uh, the SATA cables look like this. Two of them came with my motherboard, so I only need two. I'll probably have to get another one. We're going to connect it to our hard drive. So I'm using an SSD, so I'm gonna spin this to the back. And we get our big giant mess of cables here. But I'm gonna reach in through the back, plug the SATA connector in. Um, it's only gonna be able to go in one way. There's like a little L shape, so the only way it goes in is the right way. So go ahead and just, um, sorry if my head's kind of blocking, but I have to see what I'm doing. SATA connector goes in. Now we're going to wire it through there and spin it out to the front and pull it through. So the hard drive I'm using does ha have SATA 3 support, so I'm going to hook it up to the SATA 3 connector, which is the top one here. Again, this can only go in one way. There's a little L shape on it. And um, I'm actually going to wire it through right here because that's easier to access. I'm going to push it in. And there it is, so our SSD is hooked up. Now I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna do it with the uh, um, the disk drive. So again, only one way it can go in. L-shape adapter and into SATA port two, which is um, SATA two. So again, one way it can go in. It's gonna hook it up. And there we go, we have that hooked up. Now we're gonna start wiring the power connectors. So um, if we look around on the back, there's a bunch of power connectors that needs to be connected. Uh, the first one we're gonna start out with is the motherboard power connector. So that's the, the really big one that looks like this. You're gonna have to look at your manual to see what your uh, motherboard needs. Mine also needs a 12 volt to power the uh, CPU. So I'm going to wire these through. I'm going to look for the best place to do that. And uh, here's my cable coming directly out right here. And there's a little port that I don't know if you guys can see or not, so sorry if you can't, but it hooks straight up to that port right in there. You'll hear a click and you're good to go. Now we're going to take our big power supply, which is for the motherboard, find the best place to put that into. So for me, that's going to be right here. Go ahead, line it up. There's only one way it can go in. It's foolproof. So line that up, push it in. You'll hear it click and you're all set. And now you can pull the excess cable out through the back. Now we need to do uh, power, first of all, to the graphics card. We also need to go power to the hard drive and the uh, CD drive. So this is a PCIe Express and I'm guessing that's gonna be the right one. Let me just double check. And yes, it will be. So I'm gonna find the best place. Again, this is all about cable management. You, have, you wanna have really good cable management to improve the airflow and also make it look nice. I'm gonna pull this through and uh, just go ahead and hook this up to the graphics card to give that power. And this little cable you don't have to worry about. Uh, sometimes you use that and sometimes you don't, but I'm just gonna drop that and leave it right there. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna find our SATA power connector. There's gonna be a bunch of these and you're only gonna need to use, I'm gonna need to use one. There's, I'll bring it through here so you can see, but there's actually like three connectors, three SATA power connectors on each cable, actually four. And uh, so you can use the same cable, but my drives might be too far too far apart that I won't be able to use just one. I might have to go for two. And uh, there's again, these are the L-shaped ones. There's only one way that these cables can go in. I'm gonna connect it to the SSD right now. That's what I'm doing at the moment. All right, so now we're gonna do another one of these. Sorry if you couldn't see that either. I was working down there. Let me zoom out a little bit so you get a full view. Now I'm gonna go up 
through the casing and to the uh, DVD drive. Only one way this can go in. All right, so we have power going to the graphics card now. We have power going to the motherboard, power to the SSD, as well as power to the, the DVD drive. So now we're going to take a look at the cables that the casing comes with, and this is where you're really going to need to refer to your manual. Uh, all these cables are gonna be going into our motherboard, as well as a fan cable here. We're also gonna supply power to the fans and another fan cable right here. So you're really going to need your motherboard. You cannot do this without, or without your manual. Um, so we're gonna take a good look at the manual, find out where everything goes. I'm gonna unwrap this giant mess of cables here and uh, we'll start figuring out which cable goes where. We've got our HD audio that's gonna go, and mine is actually labeled, so it's making things a lot easier. So this is going in right here into the HD audio header. This is a USB header and that is going to go right into here. All right, so we got those two done. We're gonna take a look at these. These are all the really like colorful ones um, that are really tiny and supposed to be a pain in the ass. So we're gonna take a look at how these go in. And these are gonna go into the colored slots there. So um, I don't know if they match up or not. All right, so these are power cables that I'm gonna run through the back. And um, they're for the fan, and I'm gonna connect them in the back to the fan power. So you'll see what the cables look like. All right, so I've got that all hooked up to power um, behind here. And now there is one cable on the end that's gonna go into the motherboard to control the fans. And uh, I'm just gonna run that up and through this port, or this hole right here, and into the system fan port. It just plugs in a four pin connector, and uh, we should be good to go. All right, so now we want to connect these little headers to the ports there. And uh, we have a bunch of different ones, and I'm looking at the manual to see where they all go. So the first one I'm going to do is the power LED. So we have power LED plus and minus, and uh, they're labeled right here. So the power LED, um, the power LED minus goes on the right. So there's a great diagram. You're just going to have to look at your manual to see where everything goes. We're pretty much done. Uh, we have everything hooked up just the way it needs to be. Uh, hopefully, I think we do at least. Um, we're gonna leave that side casing on for now. We're gonna leave all this out. Um, we don't need to tie it up just yet. What we're gonna do first is go ahead and uh, take power cables, hook everything up to a monitor, power it on and see if it works. So I'll be back in just a second. All right, so everything is hooked up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, power the monitor on. Um, so we got no signal. We're gonna switch the input to DVI because that's what I have it hooked up on. I'm gonna turn the power supply on, hit the power button, and here we go. Hold your breath. All right, so um, I actually couldn't get it on. Did a bunch of troubleshooting and uh, I realized that my power supply that I was using was dead. So I went and got a new one. I actually tested it and I grounded the green wire from this cable to the black, or the green wire to the uh, black ground cable and it wasn't working. So I had a faulty power supply so I got rid of that one. Got a 750 watt thermal take uh, smart series. This is the smart M750W. And uh, which is M750 watts, and it is modular, which is awesome, so I don't need that many cables. It's kind of a mess in here right now because I didn't do any cable management when I put it in. I'm going to do that in a little while after I just make sure this is all done. So I've got everything hooked up, I haven't booted it up yet. Um, I'm gonna make sure that my uh, input is correct. DVI, we're gonna turn, go ahead and turn the power supply on, hit the power, and uh, there we go. We got a little beep, one beep. Our CPU fan is running. We've got a uh, UEFI dual BIOS screen up. The main BIOS is corrupted. It's updating the main BIOS. We've got movement. We got a beep from our speaker. We've got our CPU fan on, our rear fan on. Fan on. Screen turned off. DVI no signal. Another little beep. Alright, so that's perfect. Um, there's no boot device yet, so uh, there's no operating system installed, so that's what, just what I'm looking for. 
Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. It does help me out a lot. As well as the subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. I still have a lot of iPhone 5 videos to come. As well as some more Hackintosh tutorials. As well as upgrades for the Hackintosh. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, again, don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you in my next video. See ya! Try to power it on. Yep, there we go. Uh, so I have to set the date and the time. It is the 26th of September. I probably should have gone the other way. <laughs>